Good evening, everyone. Firstly tonight, I'm going to read Psalm 104. Praise the Lord, my soul. Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendour and majesty. The Lord wraps himself in light as with a garment. He stretches out the heavens like a tent and lays the beams of his upper chambers on their waters. He makes the clouds his chariot and rides on the wings of the wind. He makes winds his messengers, flames of fire his servants. He set the earth on its foundations. It can never be moved. You covered it with the watery depths as with a garment. The water stood above the mountains. But at your rebuke the waters fled. At the sound of your thunder they took flight. They flowed over the mountains. They went down into the valleys to the place you assigned for them. You set a boundary you cannot cross. Never again will they cover the earth. He makes springs pour water into the ravines. It flows between the mountains. They give water to the beasts of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. The birds of the sky nest by the waters. They sing among the branches. He waters the mountains from his upper chambers. The land is satisfied by the fruit of his work. He makes grass grow for the cattle and plants for people to cultivate, bringing forth food from the earth, wine that gladdens human hearts, oil that makes their faces shine, and bread that sustains their hearts. The trees of the Lord are well watered, the cedars of Lebanon he planted. There the birds make their nests, the stork has its home in the junipers, the high mountains belong to the wild goats, the crags are a refuge for the hyrax. He made the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows when to go down. You bring darkness, it becomes night, and all the beasts of the forest prowl. The lions roar, for they pray, and seek their food from God. The sun rises, and they steal away. They return and lie down in their dens. Then people go out to their work to their labour until evening. How many of your works, Lord, in wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things both large and small. There the ships go to and fro. All creatures look to you to give them their food at the proper time. When you give them they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are satisfied with good things. When you hide your face, they are terrified. When you take away their breath, they die and return to the dust. When you send your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks at the earth and it trembles who touches the mountains and they smoke i will sing to the lord all my life i will sing praise to my god as long as i live may my meditation be pleasing to him as i rejoice in the lord but may sinners vanish from the earth and the wicked be no more praise the lord my soul praise the lord well it's coming to the end of another year, a year which for many has been scary, frightening, and one which for many has brought mourning and loss. It is easy in such times for us to blame either a person, politicians, a country even, or for some it is God they blame. As the year gets closer to the start of a new year, we look forward to one which will bring hope and some normality. But what is normal? The kind of things that have happened in the last year have also happened before. 100 years ago, for example, we had a similar pandemic. Wars have also shown the nature of some people, no matter what their reasons were. Many people try to overcome these things by human endeavours, not spiritual. When we do that, we are turning our backs on Jesus and the Father. People ignore the teachings of Jesus and the prophets 
and indeed therefore the Father above all. I find that things go better when I choose the Bible rather than to let the world overcome me. In some times, as we have experienced over the last year, the Bible is a great stabiliser, a source of spiritual medicine. Acknowledging the Father as Lord of all things can bring calm and healing to us. That calm will help us through such troubles. When we are isolated, for example, with the Lord's Word to read, we can realise that we are not actually alone. But trying to do things without asking the Father in prayer is like trying to put out a fire with paper. It seldom works, just makes it worse. Listen to Mariana as she reads 1 Corinthians 10, 1 to 13. 1 Corinthians 10, 1 to 13. For I do not want you to be ignorant of the facts, brothers and sisters, that our ancestors were all under the cloud and that they all passed through the sea. They were all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. They all ate the same spiritual food and drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank from the spiritual rock that accompanied them and that rock was Christ. Nevertheless, God was not pleased with most of them. Their bodies were scattered in the wilderness. Now these things secured as examples to keep us from setting our hearts on evil things as they did. Do not be idolaters as some of them were, as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink and got up to indulge in revelry. We should not commit sexual immorality as some of them did. And in one day, 23,000 of them died. We should not test Christ as some of them did and were killed by snakes. And do not grumble as some of them did and were killed by the destroying angel. These things happened to them as examples and were written down as warnings for us on whom the culmination of the ages has come. So, if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. I pray that all of us will bow down to the Lord and Father, no matter what happens around us in this world. If we walk away from him, we leave ourselves wide open to all kinds of problems and Satan will seek us out. Satan will look for the cracks in our character and utilise them for his own purpose. So I pray, Father of all creation, I ask that you will strengthen all of us to keep our faith and form a shield around us so that we are safe from the problems of the world. Make us immune to the devil who tries to make us scared and weak. May you look after those who are suffering at this time and give us the ability to rebuild those who are falling away from the narrow path. You made us to be faithful and loyal to you. Lord, guide us along that path now and protect us in your love and mercy. I ask this in the name of Jesus, who gave his life so we could be saved forever. Amen.